Welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Glenn Drake. Here's what's happening in the territory tonight. The territory has been marred with another homicide. News Channel 8's Lee Carl has the details. The community in St. Thomas is shocked at the passing of a sergeant, a forensic sergeant, who was retired from the police department but was returning to teach young uh, Virgin Islands police officers forensics. He is, uh, uh, was apparently in his general area going to a grocery store. He goes to every single day, it seems. He walked in, there was a young man there holding up the cashier, and uh, apparently he may have pulled his gun and was attempting to fire when the gunman turned and fired on him. Uh, the full story here, uh, official story, is with Melody Rains and our crew captured Melody in St. Croix to give us details. Okay, on Tuesday, July 7th, retired police sergeant Liston Gums was shot and killed while shopping in a grocery store in the Lindbergh Bay area of St. Thomas. Um, retired Sergeant Gums noticed that the cashier, the female cashier, was being harassed by what he thought was a customer that was talking to him, her in an aggressive manner. So he approached the customer to um, tell him to uh, stop harassing the young lady. When he approached them, he, he realized the person was holding a gun and that it was actually a robbery. Retired officer, retired Sergeant Gums struggled with the suspect and during the struggle uh, the retired officer was struck one time in the left side of his stomach um, by one shot that was discharged from the gun that the suspect was holding. Subsequently the suspect fled the scene and uh, ran off into the area of the Kerwin Terrace housing community. Later on, the cashier told police that the, um, the suspect came in and pointed a gun to her face and demanded money. And uh, when she refused, he reached over the counter and took less than $300 from the, from the, um, from the cash draw. And uh, that's when he was spotted by the officer. As I mentioned before, the reaction was immediate here because the sergeant was also a member of the Virgin Island Retired Police Officers Organization. He was very in, instrumental in fundraising and a number of other matters. And the retired police chief, who's public relations for the Virgin Island Retired Police Officers Organization, is uh, Chief David Canton. I spoke to him about the loss of this police officer. to be in the news, the Internal Affairs Unit is investigating a St. Croix police sergeant this evening. News Channel 8's Wes Small has the story. Well, tonight, the Virgin Island Police Department, they're investigating one of their own. Uh, this has been turned over to the Internal Affairs Unit. Uh, unbelievable news uh, today in uh, one of the media newspapers. Uh, we have two minors uh, that have um, brought it attention brought the attention to the press and to the um, internal affairs unit of the VIPD. But Sergeant Ricky Hernandez, a uh, police veteran on the police force here on St. Croix, allegedly kidnapped and assaulted two male minors. Now here's what we believe is going on. Apparently, recently in the last few days, two male minors supposedly met his 16-year-old daughter. Uh, then. Um, communication over the cell phones ensued where apparently Sergeant Hernandez intercepted one of the calls from the young men. They did, they, they 
then met later on had a confrontation where supposedly the miners told the media anyway that they were forced to get in a police vehicle uh, where Sergeant Hernandez took them to a, a private home where he questioned uh, the two young men about how they got their daughter's number or why they were calling his home making the uh, making the statement no man calls for my daughter in any event uh, Ricky Hernandez is probably uh, apparently his wife is involved as well even a statement from one of the minors as Sergeant Hernandez was uh, slapping and perhaps hitting one of the minors with a baton or two by four that the mother the wife was encouraging uh, her husband go ahead hit him again now like I said this is all speculation and it's one-sided it's coming from the two minors as they gave their report to one of the newspapers that's what we found this morning I talked to Melody Rames just a few minutes ago um, there could be some new information that comes out and uh, we can have that for you right now it's just in its beginning stages where Sergeant Hernandez had a 16 year old daughter he thought it was inappropriate that minors were contacting the daughter he may have taken it into his own hands and had to deal with the minors at this time that's all we know again one sided just from the minors point of view what we're going to get from the Internal Affairs Bureau and the VIPD that to come later in Christian's dead I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8